A new study suggests your dog might be older than you think. US researchers are rejecting claims one human year is equal to seven dog years. They've studied DNA confirming some breeds age faster than others. To pet owners out on a pop crawl in Birmingham. Oh, God, no way. The latest research <laughs> comes as something of a surprise. Not least because it concludes that in human years, dogs at two years old are already middle-aged. That is barking mad, it scoops the pen. But for a dog to be that age, at the age of two, when they're even more playful and energetic than Charlie, is, that's crazy. Scientists in California say DNA testing proves that compared with humans, dogs age at a faster rate in their earlier years. The graph shows that the ageing process for dogs tails off when they reach eight or nine. The way that the University of California have done this study is they have used a process called DNA methylation, which essentially means looking at the genetics and the DNA itself and looking at how it's ageing over time to look and then compare that to human age. Vets have always questioned this seven-year rule. It's never really fit with what we see in a clinical picture with puppies and one- and two-year-olds because they really do. I mean, there's always that thing, oh, my dog's calmed down around the age of three or calmed down around the age of four. The good news for older dogs such as Lenny, aged 11, Lenny, is that the difference between both methods of calculation does even out. I think he's quite in his 70s at the moment, being 11. Um, but, to be honest, he's always been very boisterous up until about nine. And it just the last couple of years, he's probably seemed a little bit older. But he hasn't really slowed down until nine onwards, I would say. Actually, this is quite steady here, isn't it? And, yes. and he, has, he has been the same for a long time. It's just yeah. the last couple but of years. It's exponential, isn't it? Yeah, so it uh, does make sense when you look at it like that. Either way, our four-legged friends are unlikely to be too bothered by the new research. To them, all that matters is to go on living a dog's life. Mike McCarthy, Sky News.